Hello everyone and welcome. I am Mahalakshmi Sarvanil. Happy World Intellectual Property Day. We are hosting the expert talk series on IP to create awareness amongst the entrepreneurs. We had a session on patent and RAGO. Uh, you could watch the video on our official FB page that is facebook.com slash women entrepreneurs India dot Mahalakshmi Sarvanil. Now we will be learning more on IP and we have an advocate with us. Please join me in welcoming R. Sumitra Chakravarti, MAML, Advocate, Madras High Court. Welcome, ma'am, and thank you for your valuable time. Uh, let me share a brief about our guest of the day. R. Sumitra Chakravarti, ma'am, is an advocate at Madras High Court. She is an accomplished attorney with 23 years of bar experience focused in areas in constitutional matters such as writ jurisdiction of the Madras High Court, appellate, criminal, and original jurisdiction of the Madras High Court, matrimonial disputes, child rights, adoption laws, juvenile justice act, Hindu religious and charitable endowments law, civil laws, including land disputes, transfer of property act, educational laws, electricity laws, DRT and DRAT matters, banking laws, contracts, wills and estates, intellectual property matters involving patent, trademarks, copyright, cyber law and criminal law. She has an excellent courtroom negotiation, communication, drafting, client interaction, analytical and critical thinking skills. She has a superior comprehension ability, including both a broad perspective and attention to detail. Her background comprises of law firm management, including overseeing and directing staff working independently with leading law firms. And she's very adept at litigation, negotiation, drafting, counseling, and whatnot. She is also a persuasive writer and effective communicator. She is a panel advocate, receiver of the Madras High Court, panel advocate of the High Court Legal Services Authority and District Legal Services Authority, Chennai. She is a legal advisor and member of Academic Council of Government Kaide Millet Women's College, Chennai. She is a panel advocate at Canara Bank. So she is a person having experience in providing high quality care and legal support to people who are socially excluded or who or experiencing problems in their lives and having a consistent track record of working successfully with individuals, families, or groups, all within a variety of settings. Her significant professional achievements include, she's an university rank holder, she's a panel advocate, she was appointed as an advocate commissioner, and she has lots of such recognitions. She has been a guest speaker in a lot of colleges. Uh, she talks about anti-ragging, and then uh, sexual abuse and a lot of other legal topics. I think today, ma'am, uh, we are so glad to have you with us. Uh, and we would like to hear a lot about uh, intellectual property rights because I think though we are uh, encouraging startups, uh, still the legal awareness is uh, a bit of challenge. Many are not aware of the fact that they can protect their brand through IPRs and they can uh, you know, uh, file a case against someone who goes against uh, their uh, intentions or their brand. So I think you are the apt person for this session. Uh, welcome once again, ma'am. Let me go ahead with the first question, the basic question which every entrepreneur must know, that is, what is meant by intellectual property? See, basically, we all know about immovable properties. What we own as a land, as a house, whatever we have and we are much more concerned about it but when it comes to intellectual property from the word itself we can understand if we say somebody as intellectual what does it mean he is intelligent he has a very good creative mind or he is capable of doing anything in a creative way and joining that word intellectual with property of course what we say in tamil is that arivasar sotturimai and what is this arivasar sotturimai that is if your mind is creating something and that creation is new to this world and you are the finder or you are giving birth to that creation that has to be protected. That is what means as intellectual property. Okay. Now, when we are doing business in India, 
or you are already into business it is very much essential to know how to use how to guard and enforce the intellectual property rights you have or uh, to safeguard your business for that the basic thing the common types of intellectual property i just want to explain you first thing is about the copyright next one patent then designs trademark and this intellectual property can either be registered or unregistered but we all know if we if the creation is unregistered then you don't have any protection and we all suggest you whatever you have in your mind if it is a new idea or if it is a new invention then automatically you have to register it so this is what the basic thing about in something what you have created from your mind that is intellectual property that was a clear information on uh, what an intellectual property is ma'am uh, how can one protect uh, his or her intellectual property rights see when it comes to the protection of intellectual property rights first thing what you have to ensure is that your idea is a new idea and it should not have been created by somebody else first thing so for that what you have to do you have to keep your idea under scrutiny see the moment the idea comes into your mind it does not mean that you are the first person to have that idea similar like minded people will be there and similar uh, registrations would be there in priority has been done so first thing is that you have to keep your idea under scrutiny second you have to be definitely 100% aware of your intellectual property right the protection granted to you under law for that what you have to do you have to consult an expert so if by consulting an expert you will get the basic guidelines as to how to protect your idea or your business then the next thing what you have to do is that you have to double check whether your idea is unique then keep a record of almost everything what you have re that related uh, your ideas what what are all you have find it found out or uh, uh, you have uh, registered or you have created keep a record of everything don't just keep it in your mind create a record then the most important aspect is that protect your intellectual property right without any further delay see this is not the forum where uh, you can just uh, think that oh th i have i have this idea i i can implement this whenever i want or else uh, whenever time permits no time and tide will not wait for anyone in this regime and the most important thing is that you have to register it once you register it it comes to a public domain then in matters pertaining to patent and everything once it comes to public domain some other stealers will take it and they will uh, refurbish it and they will bring it as if it is their own idea so you have to move on to the next next steps not uh, standing with the first uh, level you have to move on to the next step by registering it and you have to bring out your final product at the earliest thank you ma'am so i think um, one can clearly know how to protect their intellectual property rights so does ip infringement always give rise to criminal liability ma'am see all ip infringements are not uh, coming under the criminal liability especially in india 
uh, pertaining to the copyright and trademark law, we have certain provisions where any violation or infringement will lead to criminal liability. But when it comes to patent, only the thing what you can do is that you can go to the court of law and get an injunction. Protect that that is a protection granted by the honorable court as if in a common man's language we say it as a stay. Stay vangar the kaga court to This is a very common uh, uh, saying about among the people. But when it comes to copyright and trademark infringement. Uh, there is a provision in the Copyright Act and the Trademark Act stating that any infringement will lead to criminal liability. But when it comes to patent, you can obtain only a injunction that is a prohibitory order against that infringement. Great, ma'am. So uh, coming to the copyright, I think these days we could find so many copyright related issues. Could you please walk us through what copyright is and how can one protect and what are related rights and what is originality in copyright, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, please unmute. See, for that, we have to understand what are the rights which can be copyrightable and which are not copyrightable in India. So when it comes to copyright, uh, non-copyrightable items, we have to, the list is that uh, ideas, the methods or systems. That is not covered by copyright protection. That means See, when you are uh, including or making or building things in a scientific manner or a technical method or any discovery pertaining to that or any business operation or any procedure related to that, that mathematical principles, formulas, algorithms, whatever related to studies, that ideas are not copyrightable and any commonly known information which is known to everyone in the society that is considered as a common property and there is no authorship for that and uh, example for that includes any standard calendars height and weight chart like telephone directories all this uh, items belongs in the society it is prevailing in the society at large so if you create anything new in that that right is not protected then coming to the choreographic work. If in a choreographic work, whether it is original or not, you are the creator of that step. You are the creator of the choreography, even otherwise. This is not subjected to any copyright protection unless the protection comes when, a, when it has been videotaped. So if you, if you find a new step in choreography, Immediately what you have to do is you have to videotape it or you have to notate it and then you can claim your protection. And uh, uh, this uh, principle also applies to the speeches made in public domain. Nobody can claim any copyright over their speeches or any other performances given in the public domain. And the next uh, thing uh, which is uh, not uh, copyrightable is that names, titles, many of us does not know. See, when we register uh, for a movie title, the Cinematographers Association or like some association relating to cinema and somebody else infringes it. Names, titles, short phrases or expressions. They are not copyrightable. That is why they are going and registering it in the association so that somebody else should not copy it or somebody else should not use it in the future. So when we talk about all this non-copyrightable things, and finally, I just forgot to say about fashion. Fashion that is a shirt or a dress or some designing in that any article of clothing 
it is also not protected by copyright law because despite the fact that copyright law protects such things like architectural designs works or visual arts everything is protected but many of us does not know that uh, fashion thing that something related to clothing is not copyrightable uh, so should i continue with the copyright thing or uh, you are asking it as a separate question ma'am i think you have given a long list of what is copyrightable and what is not copyrightable but for people who don't even know the basics of copyrights probably you could uh, walk us through uh, the basics ma'am see copyright is a, one of the basic type of intellectual property right and it is it gives the owner the exclusive right to use the work with some exceptions see the work is the creation of the owner and the owner gets a protection with some exception when a person creates an original work uh, that is fixed in a very tangible medium he or she automatically owns the copyright to that work because he or she is the author of that work and uh, the types of work which are uh, copyrightable is that audio visual work like uh, television shows movies and online videos when uh, whenever we come across any television shows at the end of the show we uh, say copyright protection under our registered that year if after every show that uh, copyright symbol will come like that and sound recordings and musical compositions uh, recently we all would have known about the problem between uh, the music composer the legend ilai raja sir and spb when uh, spb was singing uh, ilai raja sir's music or uh, the songs from his music he raised an objection that the copyrights owned by him is violated likewise all the written works whatever is written like lectures articles books or any musical compositions those rights are copyrights and uh, any visual works like paintings posters and advertisements if it is if you are the creator of that work then you, you are protected under copyright then like this video games and computer software everywhere we are finding it in the recent times so many new video games are coming so many software are uh, have been created and the dramatic works like plays musical everything all these rights are uh, when you are the creator and when you are the author of that work you have the protection under copyright law so the thing is uh, whether you can use this copyrights without infringing for that first thing is that the conscience the other person who is infringing it at least please give the credit to that copyright owner and uh, many of us we know they are uh, uh, ref- they should refrain themselves from the making money from that infringed uh, content like that and uh, difference between a copyright and a trademark i just want to tell you copyright is only a form of intellectual property and it is not same as trademark which protects a brand name motto or logo or any other source identifiers from being used from other for any other certain purposes and copyright is also different from patent law which protects invention so this is something related to authoring something or creating something or writing something of your own that is the basics of uh, copyrights thank you so much ma'am so are there three different laws in terms of ipr or copyright or trademark or is it only one law covering all these there are three different laws and uh, in uh, india as well as in tamil nadu in chennai there is an intellectual property building itself 
consisting of three different forum one for trademark one for copyright and another one for patent so there are three different laws as i mentioned you earlier when you asked about the criminal liability trademark and copyright have the criminal liability over the infringement whereas we don't have in patent so three different laws are there thank you ma'am thank you for your valuable insights uh, now i would like to uh, ask you uh, in terms of businesses many people are not aware of the fact that they can protect their brand and what if there is uh, a trademark infringement uh, how should they approach or uh, when they come to you like what actually happens what is the process like see the first thing is to get an uh, opinion from an ip right expert at a very early stage so when you find there is an infringement the moment you find it you have to consult an expert regarding that infringement and uh, you know prevention is better than cure and uh, uh, the second thing what you have to do is you have to carry out a risk assessment and do diligent check on any organizations and individuals you deal with that is very very important so if you want to protect your work you should have very strict agreements written so that the other party will not expose your finding to the, uh, to a third party and so that you can protect your creation and the third thing is that as i told you 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 take a professional expert like lawyers or any uh, people relating to the business council or people like you who offer uh, service to all the women entrepreneurs of india they can contact you or uh, talk to anybody or any other similar business people who are doing all these things and after that if any violation is done you have to approach the court of law in case of any patent violation for uh, getting immediate uh, prohibitory injunction orders uh, stalling the other party from using that infringed product or as uh, said earlier in the uh, trademark act and copyright act we can uh, we can take uh, we can uh, criminal we can approach the, the criminal law enforcing agency also in support we can lodge a police complaint as well as we can take steps under the civil law that was an insightful uh, explanation ma'am uh, so i just want to check with you is it always uh, i mean the costing is always on the higher side like should people spend in crores to uh, uh, you know overcome this challenge or is there any other way wherein you know the startups could also apply and can get it done for a nominal cost see the very basic um, uh, structure of business is that you are taking a risk after taking a risk you indulge in some business you just work hard to bring success into it and after that if i pass on anything that is uh, that will shake your confidence i don't want to do that definitely all the legal system of the country all uh, cases filed under the ipr the court fees are nominal only thing is that the expert whom you approach we all go behind a very senior uh, persons or very reputed persons seeing their career graph or seeing their performance and the professional charges that is on a higher side but what i think is when it comes to the court expenses or any expenses related to the litigation that is nominal and affordable uh, depends on the person whom you choose absolutely ma'am i think the pricing is based on the expertise and the level of uh, you know uh, risk Uh, both the party should take yes ma'am thank you for that and one last question ma'am we would like to hear your tips for uh, entrepreneurs uh, on this special day 
see i started my speech with that tip first thing you have a creation in your mind that creation use is your child it is your duty to protect it please don't think that the system will come in support some other people will come in support you are the first person to take the right step in the right direction to protect it for that what you have to do you have to approach the right person you have to get a clear cut legal advice you have to get a clear cut expertise advice from uh, the women entrepreneurs of india or any organization of that sort who are offering you that service and the third thing is that if your right is infringed please don't give up your mind or please don't feel this dejected or discouraged you always have the court of law to protect you so please don't think that whether i can do this whether i should run behind the justice system to get justice please don't have that feeling whatever the right is offered by you by law you have to avail it and definitely your creation will be protected and the most important tip is that please keep a secrecy of your finding please don't expose it even to your near and dear unless it is protected so any small leakage from your side your entire idea will be diluted your entire idea will be stolen and it will become the child or property of somebody else so maintain that secrecy even if you are indulging any other teams to enforce your uh, business make it as a group of people one group should not know what the other group is doing each and every step involve different people so if you are dependent on one person and that person knows all your trade secrets or business secret he will carry it away along with him and leave you on the road so you uh, create a team pass on one idea to one team another idea to another team both teams should not know each other what you have passed on to them keep a very safe agreement or very strong agreement written in your favor in case of any violation involve criminal liability also in that agreement you have to be very careful while drafting the clauses of any agreement you make you have to read it once or twice before signing it you have to protect your creation if it is infringed have the guts to approach the court of law thank you so much ma'am for your enlightening session i think this is an eye opener for many who are watching this video and many who are going to watch this video because uh, when it comes to legal awareness we could see that not many are aware of the fact that they could protect their brand i'm sure this is just the start we look forward to many such sessions both offline online or hybrid very soon and we could plan a bigger events in future wherein we could create uh, legal awareness for the masses in their regional languages ma'am we look forward to your support and thank you for your valuable time and sharing a lot of insightful information related to ips and patents and copyright and trademark thank you so much for your time ma'am and i really thank you mrs mahalakshmi saravanan you are doing a tremendously applaudable job and i congratulate you for this thank you so much my pleasure ma'am so viewers i think this was an enlightening talk i'm sure uh, you will have lot of queries pertaining to ip or trademark or patent please get in touch with us on the whatsapp number 9952013800 or you could also visit womenentrepreneursindia.com to know more about us uh, thank you so much all the best